Hello, welcome. We need, we need an introduction, don't we? Me and Joel were actually speaking about this because he always says, hey guys. And then he was telling me that YouTube, there's YouTubers who have specific things that they say. And I joked about swearing, like heads, whatever. Don't think we can do that on YouTube. That's not the dumb thing, is it? Although we could go with heads. <laughs> heads? Yeah, and then I suppose if you follow this channel, you are a Hearst head. So there you go. Hearst heads. Welcome. You catch me in the midst of packing. It's Saturday morning. I'm going to be heading down to Joel's very soon. So I'm going for a few days. I'm coming back on Tuesday morning. And so I've just laid everything out that I need because we, we, we don't really know what we're doing. We've not got anything planned, but we will go to the gym. We will go for a walk. We will probably go out for some food. But we'll also, you know, be taking the dogs on the heath as well. So I need to pack for all eventualities. And it's cold now. And I don't like being cold. So I've got jumpers. In fact, I'll show you what I've got. So I like to be very... I like to get everything out so I can see what I've got. So here we've got t-shirts and jumpers. Training kit. Underwear. With underwear, I'm always... I pack too much. I'd rather have too much than too little. Jeans with a belt. You should always wear a belt with your jeans. Comfies, PJs, big fancy ideas. London coat, fancy London coat. The toiletry bag. And I'm going to get all this in here. So this bag, uh, built for athletes, it's called. And, and you can buy um, these stickers, they're Velcro. So I bought that one to put on. You can put on what you want. So my friend got one of these and I loved it so much that I um, I went and got one, like, I, I bought that. It's not sponsored or anything. I fully endorse this bag. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be able to get everything in here. And Joel has asked me to bring tools down because there's jobs around the house that need doing apparently. So once upon a time, I was a, I was a builder, I was a joiner and a plasterer. I did that for about six years, did my apprenticeship. That was a long time ago, but I've still got tools and, and things like that. I'm still pretty handy around the house. So I think they've got a curtain pole falling down and, and things like that. So I'm fully packing the car up to go. That's why I'm not getting the train. So I can take all that stuff and, and do that for him because that's what that's what love is. It's going above and beyond to put up a curtain pole. So I'm going to pack this up, pack the car up, get Fen, and then we're going to boys road trip me and Fen. So I've just finished packing the car up. I'm just having a kiwi because I love a kiwi. I just cut the ends off and eat them with this gear on good fibre good for you got so I'll show you the car as I said it got everything in there there's even my laptop and a pair of trainers as well coats are on there tools for Joel's stuff fens food clothes lead fens blanket boots because these boots are made for walking so we're all set boots because they never shut there you go so we're in the car fens in this is actually not his bed this is ava's bed but he loves it so much he loves being in the car he's really good he's really chill so we will call and get a coffee now i think have a little puppuccino which is essentially loads of cream in a cup jealous um and then we're on our way so we just set off we're on our way. Um, need to call and get fuel. It's saying exactly four hours, 207 minutes. Fen, sit down. Good boy. Uh, it's laid down, he'll chill out now. I'm going to call Philip, get a coffee, get him a puppuccino, and we're away. 207 miles, London, the big smoke. Here we come. So I've got a, I've got a coffee. And Fen has got a puppuccino. As you can see, he's thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that. I can, I can manipulate him and bring him even further. Oh, well. <laughs> see, what stick his nose in is just, is very precious. We've just stopped at the services. Watford Gap services if you're interested. Fen has just had a wee um, and I'm busting for one as well. I'm going to grab a coffee uh, and then carry on. Two hours to go halfway there. 
So we've got about two hours to go. We just called it Watford, Watford Gap Services. But it's not the Watford that's near London, I don't think. It's not. I think there's two Watfords, weirdly. I don't know Southern geography. I don't come down here. There's London, there's Southampton, there's Cornwall over there. Wales is up there somewhere. And there's Birmingham on the way down. Other than that, it's all much of a muchness to me. You've all got a funny accent. You're all very self-important. I'm joking, I'm out with a southerner. Um, you're very polite. Um, although there is positive politeness, Joel told me, apparently there's positive politeness and negative politeness, where positive politeness is where you would go out of your way and you'll say, so it's a very northern thing to say, morning, morning. If you walk past somebody on a dog walk, and they don't say good morning or good afternoon, obviously, depending on the time of the day, you think, rude. However, in the South, also it's deemed polite to not say morning and speak to somebody because you're not interrupting them, whatever they're doing. It's all about perspective, guys. Such is life. So there you go. You're just as polite in the South, but in a different way. Everybody, by everybody, I mean me and Fen has had a wee. Fen had a poo as well. Just keep you up to date with my dog's bowel movements. Um, we are, it's saying, just under two hours away. 75 miles. Fen is curled up here. He's been very good, very happy. I've just had an audiobook on. I'm massive into audiobooks. I love them. Usually fiction, because I find it hard to take non fiction in. But if it's not in a book form, I much prefer that in a book form. But when I go walking, I'll either have a podcast on, with like a conversational podcast, but I do prefer an audio book. I think it, I always say this to clients, because getting, getting out, being active, getting your steps in, it's good. It's difficult though, it can be really dis difficult in this weather. It's actually come quite nice now, but usually it rains loads down there in winter, especially in England, and especially in the north, it's horrible. So it can be really difficult to want to get out in that. So you need you need to be kitted out, you need good clothes, comfy shoes, dry shoes, nobody likes wet feet. And then you need to make sure that you've got something that you get excited to go out for. So I have, an, I have, I have audio books. As I said, usually fiction, usually fantasy. I'm a big fantasy nerd. I like Lord of the Rings, I like Game of Thrones. And yes, I did read all the books before they were big. I actually read Lord of the Rings before. They made Lord of the Rings into a movie, in, but I was still at school. I'd already read them, didn't really understand them, but I read them um, because I fell in love with it because there's a 1972, I believe, animated film. And they only made the first half of the of the trilogy so it goes about halfway through the two towers side note so yeah love those i've listened to all sorts on there i'm currently actually re-listening to game of thrones which i read originally but i'm audio booking it in preparation in hope for the release of book six, The Winds of Winter, Game of Thrones, Winds of Winter. Apparently it's coming out next year, 2023, so please judge. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna continue with that. I've got my coffee, I got a large one. And when you get a large coffee, they put an extra shot in and it's a bit, it's about like the espresso this morning. So I'm not having luck with coffee today, but yeah. Uh, looks like the roads are all clear and I will be with my with my love very soon so see you on the flip side here we are sat down we've got a full house we've got three dogs we've got rodney who's joel's housemates um oh thanks for lighting me babes uh, rodney who's lucy's boyfriend's dog we've got my dog fen and we've got ava we've ordered food Drinks are poured. What are you drinking, Joe? I'm having a Malibu and tonic. He's, Watermelon. He's actually an old lady. It's nice. Uh, I've got a gin. And. Yeah, I tried on aviation, but didn't like it. Aviation gin's horrible. So, make a note, Ryan Reynolds. So, the dogs have calmed down now. Finally. They're all chilled. So, Joel, tell us about the mini Christmas tree in the middle of November. Okay, so the mini Christmas, basically I'm working with a brand called Bloom and Wild who deliver flowers to your front door. And over Christmas, they deliver a tiny tree which comes through your letterbox in a really thin box and you can decorate it. Da, da, da. 
So to promote that, they sent me their trees to surprise my housemate. And so they'd sent a gospel choir to my front door and a film crew and just to surprise my housemate. So they're only here because I worked with a brand for Christmas. I didn't get them especially, but I would. A, I love them, and B, it's never too early to Good decorate evening. for Christmas. Well, Good evening. Good evening. And, and now we're going to watch the wheel. The wheel. The wheel. <laughs> the wheel. <laughs> and Strictly. Obviously. Yeah. They've Blackpool. Huh? They're at Blackpool. Are they? For the final? No, not the final. If people aren't from the UK, then they don't understand the wheel reference. The wheel. The wheel. It's a game show. <laughs> this is... The wheel, Nicola Adams from boxing. Denise Van Outer. Camp. Oh no, that, that's their specialist subject. We've seen Gloria. We, we've seen her. Who? Oh, I know him. I've met him a few times. And, um, oh, we like doing that. Oh, really. So it is Sunday morning. Um, we've spent most of it sat here on laptops. I am editing. Um, Joel did my first video. You will see that I did the second video. It will have a different flavour. Normally I would delegate something like this because I'm not good at it. But as Joel rightly said, it gives you an idea of things that you do that you don't want in, what to kind of change. So I, I get it. They're the best YouTubers. I always laugh when a new YouTuber will say like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I've hired an editor to edit my videos. I'm like, how are you going to learn what to film if you never know what you edit? I only know what I'm doing when I'm filming because I've edited myself for years and I go, oh, don't start this sentence with right because you all, I have a tendency to say right all the time or right. like, let's just film the bare minimum, exactly what I need, no faff, get in, film, get out, that's don't it. Don't your hair up. Exactly. So I think it's really good that you're learning because I know you'd rather give it to someone else, but so this, you'll be better at filming once you've edited yourself. But obviously me being me, can't just use some regular editing thing I've already got Premiere Pro on my... Which is better than the software I even it's use. It's so difficult. It's ridiculous. It's so hard. <laughs> We're in Richmond Park. We've brought the doggos. I've never been to Richmond Park. It's big, apparently. Um, that's what she said. And Joel has informed me that this is where the famous video of the guy shouting, Fentime! at the deers is. So hopefully we won't see any deers because Fen would chase them. And they're also having a deer cull. So sad. Which means they're killing the deers. Because yeah. there's too many of them. Um, it ruins the equilibrium of the park and they just eat everything. So they have to, every year, they shoot all the, not all the deer, but a huge number of them. Because and, there's no predators yeah. for the deers here, yeah. they have to do that. Uh, so the humans are the predators. Sad. Maybe yeah. we could take one home to Yorkshire. No. Don't kill it, we'll take it up north. No, we'll eat it. I like venison. The thing about venison though is it's deer. <laughs> Good one. So here are loads of wild deer. Here's a wild Joel wood. This is our life now. And here you go, look. It's a rare event, Joel's driving. Woo! I drive all the time. Joel doesn't drive all the time. I, it's because I spend hours driving to yours, so I'm like, I'm not getting in a car again. Well, a change of events. Joel is driving. Um, we're Joel, going out of the house for once. We're going out of Joel's house. We're going to get some food. It's been a very miserable Monday. I've been in a bit of a funny mood. Just feel a bit, you know, some days where you just feel a bit sad. So yeah, we're going for food. Joel's going to drive and probably pay for dinner as well no that's how it usually is isn't it <laughs> that's absolute edit that out uh <laughs> that's a lie <laughs> it is a lie um, we're actually very good we don't actually have a way to do it do we we don't have a set way of like we don't split every time no, we mix it up, don't we? we? Mix it up. That's how you keep a relationship exciting. You oh, don't yeah. you, you don't stick to one possibility with a bill when there's so many. You just see who's gonna bankrupt themselves today. Yay! Okay. We've come to the London version of Flight Club. As you can see, Joel is I think currently beating me. Two pints, twelve pound twenty. This down board, twenty quid for how long? Thirty minutes. It's dead. 
cost of living crisis, you know why? They won! Demon. Joel's beating me on this one. Oh, and it looks like he's cheating as well. Nice! I can't believe you've brought us in here, Joel. I did not. Look where he's brought us. And he said get one each. This is all happening in reverse. He, I wanted to go to Tesco and go home and have ice cream. He then was like, should we come in here? And I was like, well, I, I can always be tempted. Um, but yeah, and then I thought we were going to share one. So I was like, which one are we getting? And he was like, no, we're getting one each. I was like, really? It's not how I remember it. You are a liar, sir. You're a liar? You're a liar there. That's no lie. We're going to Ireland soon. Oh, uh, yeah, we are. Yeah, that would uh, be fun. I've never been. Nor now. Nor now. Nor now. Nor now. Nor now. You're getting my knife. What you got, Jolie? I have a Speculoos slash Biscoff spread waffle. I mean, it looks it looks like a Jack, uh, Jackson Pollock. What's that? He's an artist. I went for Reese's Pieces. It's not quite the same as the... Not uh, the same. It's not quite the same. Diet starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. I can't believe you've eaten both of those, Joe. <laughs> well, Jolie, that brings pretty much an end to my London visit, doesn't it? Uh, it's been so good for many reasons. Do you, would you like to name any of them? Well, I know, I see in my head, I was thinking for reasons which you guys don't even understand yet. You don't understand. You don't understand. Um, but uh, you will. Don't but, make me um, say. It's just been fun. It's been nice to show Keegan all my favourite spots. To have him in my life. Because I've spent a lot of time in his life. It's been nice to have him in my life. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been nice. You enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. That Reese's waffle got better towards the end. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. London, London's alright. <laughs> it's alright. It's not yours. It's not, it's not hot, obviously. But it's alright. I love it. Um, so yeah so we're gonna go back and then I am up early tomorrow to be back in Yorkshire for 11 for calls yeah. so early early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise apparently so I'm gonna finish this video here this is too long to have as one video so I'm gonna cut it there the second part with the head test at rugby which you'll be very impressed with next video so there you go like subscribe do all the youtube -y things you know what you're doing and thank you for watching